Hi everyone, Donut here. I'm back. I just had to take a little break. I got burned out and I went to Vegas for Halloween with Brandon Herrera and Heather and some of my friends. It was pretty rad, but I'm back. And guess what we're gonna talk about today? You guessed it, a mag dump out of the greatest state in the United States, Texas. Also the best state on earth, except for Austin. Speaking of Texas, would you like to hear an update on the Texas police officer here in San Antonio McDonald's teenager parking lot shooting? If you're unfamiliar with the incident, I did an entire video breaking it down called Cop Shoots Unarmed 17 Year Old While Eating a Burger. I'll leave a link below. If you didn't see it, TLDR, an officer shot a teen in a McDonald's parking lot for pretty much no reason and was subsequently fired and arrested. <laughs> Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! The officer was arrested and charged with two counts of aggravated assault. Because there were two people in the car, the young man had a girl sitting in the passenger seat next to him. The family now, though, is calling for attempted murder charges. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but we'll see. For several weeks, the teen was on life support after being shot in his stomach, diaphragm, lungs, liver, bicep and forearm but within the past couple of days they've announced that he is officially off life support looks like the kid might actually pull through let's talk about the latest shooting that i found that actually originated in a mcdonald's parking lot also but first a word from our sponsor american pipe dream this place has some really really cool stuff check this out american pipe dream is like an army navy store like a military surplus store plus more remember those old military books like the special forces guide guide to grill of warfare improvised munitions stuff like that they got all those not only that they have a ton of military surplus check this out they've got like super old stuff that looks rad as hell like really rare camo patterns a used belgian m90 jigsaw jacket that thing is sick don't buy it i'm buying that russian mre <laughs> yeah nice oh that's dope too modernized taz 83 model 1970 alpen fly truck set i love that alpen fly it looks so cool to check them out go to americanpipedream.com or click the link in the description below use the code donut to get 10 percent off of this really really cool military surplus or vintage clothes or axes or knives they got tons of cool stuff on there this is probably one of my favorite sponsors i've had in a while let's do shootings mcdonald's parking lots what i tell you guys about them they're dangerous dangerous as hell for everyone dangerous for cops dangerous for people eating shitty food dangerous for your health and blood pressure just don't go to mcdonald's people nothing good comes from there other than adult happy meals oh God, i forgot they had them i hope they still have them i'm getting some chicky nuggies today don't go to mcdonald's just door dash it like i'm doing right now houston the atlanta of texas september 9th 2022 11 50 p.m houston police saw a black Ford Raptor driving way faster than it should have been driving. This means that you can pull it over. Traffic stop initiated. Pro tip, when you have a car full of retards with illegal things, you probably shouldn't speed. Ooh, I forgot YouTube doesn't like that word. At first, the vehicle did pull over into the war zone that is a McDonald's parking lot. As soon as the officers walk up to the truck, though, they take off. They probably watched the last video of what happens to a Hispanic person in a McDonald's parking lot. What if it was Ronald's fault this whole time? Anyways, they take off and the officers jump back in their car to pursue. Officers chase them for approximately 15 minutes, reaching very high rates of speed until the driver of the Raptor intentionally strikes the officers chasing him. Dude just slams on the brakes, puts it in reverse, and barrels back into the patrol car. Maybe he was trying to disable it, but hey man, this is not Sicario 2. Well, his master plan of reversing into the police car did not work. So he backed into the police car on purpose. This means that they can use force. He had a knife in his hand. That's why we shot him. You seen him come out we with the knife, right, Cameron? We almost killed him. The suspect, who is about to get Swiss cheesed, bells out of the Raptor with his buddies belling out behind him. The officer who pulls up on the driver's side of the Raptor sees something and calls it out. Hey, he got, he's got a gun in his hand. He's got a gun in his hand. The suspect has a gun in his hand. 
Uh-oh, it just got double hairy. Dude in the gray hoodie gets deboed by some stud running full speed while our main suspect runs to the right of the camera when a corgi comes out of nowhere and jumps into the chase. Anyways, I think it's a corgi. The f*** is that? I feel like it's running too goofy to be a cat, but why would a dog run towards loud sirens and cars? Well, that's a mystery that may never be solved, but the mystery of, hey, why is that cop's gun empty is about to be solved. Our officer who fires the shots bells out of his patrol car and sees the suspect point his gun at another officer, so the officer does what he needs to do to make sure that doesn't happen again. <laughs> Get that arm back. That's fine with the blood. Give me that arm. You go sit down somewhere. Hey, stay. I got the gun. Leave it where it's at right now. Hey, what's Where's the gun? It's right here. I got it. I'm good. I'm good. This officer's name is actually Reddy, and my brother in Christ, was he ready? I think I counted 14 shots. As soon as the suspect is down, Officer Reddy jumps into action by grabbing his hands and putting them in cuffs. Yes, the cuffing is still necessary when you shoot somebody 14 times in their back. They could be playing opossum. Police immediately started working on the suspect's wounds, and guess what? This motherfucker lived. They got him to the hospital in stable condition. A gun was found by the suspect, and after all the madness was over, police looked in his truck, and guess what they found? McDonald's. Just kidding. They found ski masks and more guns. These dudes were definitely up to no good, and it wouldn't surprise me if the truck was stolen. Let me know in the comments below if you think that this was excessive force by the police, the right amount of force, or not enough. Should he have reloaded and put another magazine in him? Well, that's all I have for you fine people today. If you want to help support the channel, you can go over to DonutOperator.com where I have super sweet merch, or you can go over to Patreon where I've been doing Donut After Dark. I'm sorry I haven't done one in like 10 days. I'm going to do one right now. It's $1 and we watch some pretty gnarly sh** on there, including this shooting, Uncensored. We talked about it the first time I saw it. Anyways, that's all I have for you fine people today. Everyone, please have a fantastic day. Whacker.